Occupy demonstrators are gathering near Vancouver's ports for a planned day of protest. It's part of a large-scale movement looking to cause disruptions from Alaska all the way down to California. CTV's Brent Shearer is live at Callister Park. Brent, what kind of turnout is expected for this? Well, Carrie, the uh, protesters are just starting to gather. You can see behind me there about uh, 20 or so are here now, and they've just started to arrive here within the last few minutes. The plan is for the, them to muster here and then march down to the port. It's about a 10, 15 minute walk and uh, blockade the entrance to the port. Uh, this was the scene earlier this morning when protesters uh, blocked an entrance to the port at Hastings and Clark. They were there for a about an hour and then moved on trying to block another entrance but they were not successful these tactics they're using here do not have the support of BC's labor movement support this tactic we thought it was putting the pressure on the wrong people uh, it's not the poor truck driver trying to survive that's the problem nor should we be taking actions that affect him without or her without their permission so the protesters previously, when they were occupying the front of the art gallery for five weeks, did have the support of the labor movement. They did get some sympathy from people like Jim Sinclair, you just heard from, but not this time around. Sinclair saying that it's not fair to take a day's pay away from the people who work at the port. In terms of the port, they're monitoring this situation. There's plenty of uh, VPD officers here around this park. They're also down at the port. The port says basically they're going to continue business as usual. And if there are more disruptions, something similar to what we saw this morning there, they're looking at all their options, and that does include legal action. But as you can see behind me, there's another gentleman who's just stopped by. The signs are out here, but probably not the kind of turnout so far that they anticipated. About 200 people met over the weekend to discuss the future of Occupy. And it looks to me maybe 30 people there now, so it remains to be seen, but in the next hour we'll have a little bit, a little bit better idea when these people start moving from here down to the port, and we'll see what happens. We'll stay with it, Carrie. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks for that, Brent.